M0FXP, welcome back to my videos, learning the mobile linked system. Big thanks to Rob, WX90, for all the help that's out there. The Yaesu FT991 does work with the mobile linked system, which is a TNC APRS packet device, mobile packet device, that can be integrated via Bluetooth and a serial connection. Very portable, has a built-in battery, and you control it with a free app on your phone along with the APRS FI app as well. And this is what the, the free app looks like. So to connect, you only have to use, well, one connection, but two cables. So it is the, the six pin DIN just here. I will zoom in and connect it, but there's a slight catch. If you want it to PTT or transmit your packets, you need this adapter that you get from Mobile Link. Now there's a whole page of cables that you're gonna need with the mobile link device. And if you've got a lot of radios, Icom, Kenwood, Bofeng, you know, Quan Shang, then uh, make sure you get them when you order them. Cause I, ha I had mine delivered all the way to the UK. Um, so I made sure I got lots of cables. The connector that we're interested in is this six pin one. So we'll put in the adapter first that allows the transmission. And just remember the black sort of plastic bit that sticks out is at the bottom. So then you've got this flat line as well that will be at the bottom. So count your pins, double check everything before you push it in. You don't want to break it. Okay, that's firmly in there. And then same again, we're just going to join the adapter. It's exactly the same configuration. Um, don't want to get it the wrong way around. And it joins like that. Then the, the TRRS cable is going to go into our, our mobile link. So we just get our mobile linked. You can see you've got USB there. You've actually got firmware button, DFU, reset button on off for two seconds. LEDs tells you when it's charging and when the Bluetooth connects. Very lightweight device. Okay, and like I said, it's a free app. So we plug that in there. So from this side, of course, we want our two meter and 70 centimeter antenna connected. From this side, we're ready. Now the back cables are connected. Let's look at the front setting. So on the front, we've tuned in 144800. I have turned the squelch down by pressing the F. Go right and left until you see the word squelch here. And I've tapped it and I've put it on zero. I've turned the volume down, come out of F. Then you can press the menu. Now I didn't really change much. So I think I was just lucky that the settings were about right. So if you just look at some of the numbers I've written down here, you've got 77. There you go, data. 78 is 50, 75 as well. FM out level, didn't change that. 79. There you are. Packet is at 1200, just change that. You press select and then turn. On any of them yeah so that's at 1200 enter and then someone said on number 142 set vox to data 142 which there's apparently is not essential but you could do it 142 data so seems fine then I'll get the frequency right FM mode so we go Enter and then mode. And we're not out yet, are we? Mode. You can see all the packets come in. I've just got our code in here in the loft. FM. It does say data FM there. I haven't really thought about trying that. It would make any difference. Well, I'll leave it there for now. We'll see. So now on the app, if you go to Open up the app, pair in the normal way, you know, we used to swipe down, hold down Bluetooth, and then you look at the TNC 4 or 3, whichever one you've got. So we've done that. When you're paired, you click at the very top here. I know it's on my computer, but it is my Android phone, and it works on an iPhone as well. So click connect here, and as long as it goes green, now remember, if you're already connected to APRS FI, then uh, it's gonna, it's 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 not gonna let you connect. So you can, you know, you set it up first, and then you connect to APRSFI. So audio output, 
um, and transmit. So this is where I've set it. Um, and I had to choose simplex, otherwise it didn't transmit. So if we do a test here, just a very brief test, look at the actual radio. You saw that. It goes into transmit. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Someone want to recommend better settings. Just remember it's simplex. Um, then we go to audio. I turn the squelch down. And apparently if you go louder with the volume, but maybe that doesn't happen because we're connected to the, the six dim pin, but I turn the squelch down and look, we're getting this signal here. Um, if I turn the squelch up, let's see if it makes any difference. Uh, yeah, look, it does, it kills the, the noise. So you do need to squelch it down by the looks of it. Let's squelch down, squelch it up. Yeah. Well, it is still coming in actually. So it looks like the squelch doesn't make any difference. But I did turn it down. So, okay. Now, you know, I remember I'm learning in front of you. Kiss parameters is, haven't changed that at all. Power settings, that's my battery. You can power it on with USB if you want. Modem, we've selected 1200 board and notice that there is 9600 and M17 something there. And there has been an app developed for M17. Read the GitHub page for that. And there's my, I've got the latest firmware 2.5.10 and I have made a video installing firmware. And then save settings there. So if we like, if we disconnect now, and then go to my APRS FI app, just go like that and open it up in the normal way. So download this APRS FI. Now you are going to need your, your um, APRS number and just Google that, put in APRS number. I'll put the link in here, look. APRS passcode generator. Put your call sign in there, of course you need a ham call sign and it should generate you the number you need. I've got my number and then over here, go to preferences at the top call sign there's my call sign no ssd yet ssd and to come out you just click the item and then connection you're looking for at the top here connection protocol is kiss if you if you select internet then you don't need the radio basically and um, going down client connection type click bluetooth we will try it with tcp and usb i don't think it's got tcp this device it's got bluetooth and usb serial and then client mode i didn't touch that and then tnc bluetooth device when you click that it'll, it you'll be able to grab your tnc form once you've done that go back a couple of times and you should be able to go send position and your radio should actually transmit which I hasn't done I didn't see it do it then <laughs> uh, let's go stop and start and then we'll do send position it was transmitting just now it has started receiving the packets you can see the packets they're coming in in this purple color Okay, it did actually transmit then. So there's a bit of a delay before it transmitted, but it did. And I'm going to wait and see if it'll do that again. Just click the send position on my, it is my smartphone. And then wait, there you go. Did you hear that? Just sent my position. We've got my collinear on. And we're dash seven. So if we go to APRS FI, got the map there, we'll go M0FXB dash seven. And there we are, mobile link FT70. Wrong radio though. So maybe we should change that message. Let's try it. We'll do the three dots just on our app. Three dots, preferences. And down here we've got comment field, double click, and we're going to change that to FT991A. 
click OK, go back with the back arrow at the bottom. I'm going to stop, then start, and then I'm going to go send. It's making all the noises. Send it a couple of times and then just see if it, see if it turns up. M0FXB-7. Of course, you can do tracking. There's all kinds of things you can do. Uh, still not showing up yet. Let's do send position again. Sometimes it will send it straight away. Sometimes there's a delay. I'm sure there's a good reason for it. Probably a time between sending. Yeah, brief transmit there, I notice. Very brief, though. Didn't really hear the packet. There it goes. That's a bit more like it. Right, so we'll give it a go. I'm brand new. I'm learning in front of you. We just want to see FT991, not FT70. There is a map on the actual app. If I click the app and then click here. Can we go in? Can we see a message? I'm, I'm clicking it. Aha, look at that. Now that definitely says FT991A. So there you are. I probably have to pay the subscription for the other one to make that update quicker, but it's definitely working. Thanks for watching my channel. And it obviously opens up lots more poss possibilities. It's not just sending out a quick packet. Um, you can link to different programs now with this device. Um, I haven't tried whether it will link on a HF program. I literally haven't, you know, I'm brand new to it, but uh, that's how you connect your cables to your FT991 with your mobile link box, the portable box, and you can do it via Bluetooth. You've got the little serial connection as well. USB-C charging and so on and so on. Big thanks to mobile link. When it's charging, it does light up. I'll put a charger in there so you can see, like so. And then when it's trying to pair, you turn it off by holding it down. That's off now. And then when you it's charging now, it goes green when it's charged. Turn it back on. It starts to flash blue. Two seconds to turn it on. You want? Flashes blue, and then it's trying to connect, and you pair it. Thanks for watching my channel, Mobile Link 73. All the best.